Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kreitman. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to generate sequential particles out of our particle emitter. And it sounds kind of boring, but it's actually a really cool trick. So um, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's go ahead and uh, grab a text object and drop it in our room. And let's go ahead and type in 1. And let's find a... There we go. Uh, pick a font, and I'm going to add a front bevel to it too, 0.50, and put it on the front face. And you can mess with the fidelity and that kind of stuff too, but we're not going to mess with that. Um, and there's our guy right there. Uh, let's change the color on it, create a new master, and it's going to make him blue. Perfect. And I have a shader I can add to it too for the front face. And let's see what we got. There we go, just what we want. Let's move this back a little bit so it doesn't get in the way of anything. And I'm going to nudge it over by pushing Command and the up arrow key or the down arrow key slide it over a little bit and one more thing let's go ahead and name it this part's really important because you want to keep track of your particles if you're doing this especially if you're doing text um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make that one and now let's duplicate it and nudge it once I've got I've got my uh, spacing set at five for my nudge increments too just FYI shift up arrow or command up arrow kind of uh, sends it over and then if you duplicate it again it has the exact same spacing now let's go ahead and jump in here and let's change the name on this one create a new master and we're going to make that two and you don't got to push in or you can just jump out and this one is create a new master this one's going to be three and jump out and let's change the names of them this is no longer one this is two and let's make this one three okay we're good to go now let's jump into our particle emitter and I already have a couple of settings in here uh, already so let's go ahead and check those out uh, first of all I have minus 10 well let's go up by the numbers here um, the number of particles that we're going to generate throughout the course of the animation is going to be three we're going to have it th free in scene uh, not going to mess with the uh, emission cube at all um, uh, the lifetime is 10 seconds, the course of our animation. And if you go over here, if you look at the number of particles, is going to be 3 without any variation at all. So throughout the course of our animation, our particle emitter is only going to emit 3 particles, and it's going to be our, our numbers. Um, yeah, uh, and they're objects too, so uh, we got this we got this set of objects. and our gravity is going to be minus 10 we got a little bit of air friction to kind of keep it from going too high uh, that works with our velocity um, mass is one size is one uh, no angle it's just going to be the particle emitter going across the screen and then leaving particles as it goes so uh, let's go ahead and go over here and the number of particles generated a second is going to be three. All three of them are going to be emitted uh, in one second. And if you do 24 frames a second, that's actually uh, that's actually enough time to you know move things across. So let's go ahead and uh, go to two, and let's grab our particle emitter and push up get to the other side and that should 
leave R2 right in the middle? Let's find out. Let's jump back in our particle emitter and do the final touch on this little trick here. And we're going to add a particle. And the sequence that you that you add them is the sequence that it's going to emit. So let's go ahead and do one. We're going to add two. And we're going to add three. Or the. Or the. What is that? I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't really tell, but um, let's see what it looks like. And see how that puts the two right there in the middle almost? That's what we want. And uh, I have it rendered out here. I have a example made up. And you can add a little bit of angle to it if you want to. You can change the velocity so one of the particles will go higher than the other just a little bit. Um, what I did with this one is I did that little, uh, is I, uh, hit this, hit that little tab on the side and, uh, that it's got, it made it, made the particles grow as they came out and kind of gave it a little more natural look. But uh, yeah, it's this is a really cool trick. You can you can do words, you can do paragraphs probably. I I haven't done paragraphs, but I have done words. Um, it's it's a cool trick, and it'll save you money on a title or two. So anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.